fucker. That's a fat guy wake up call when you're in two pairs of handcuffs. All right, because you're so goddamn fat. One pair won't fit. I've been so rude. We're in Portland, and I haven't given you the standard downtown Portland greeting, which is, hey, man, can I get $2? <laughs> I, uh, I'm so rude. <laughs> These stinky, dirty, white people. Jesus Christ. <laughs> These are the stinkiest, dirtiest white people I've ever seen in my life. You stink. I can't find a job. Hey, try peeing on the outside of your pants. <laughs> you stinky, dirty son of a bitch. Jesus, just wash your ass, right? Right? Am I serious? I mean, you know, have you seen these stinky, dirty people? It's like, God bless. And, and I can't find a job. Well, you've got coasters in your ears. That makes you amazingly unemployable. Okay? <laughs> All right? Uh, why would I go to you for advice on IT stuff when you made such horrible choices in your own life? Those that that big that stupid big earring thing. Okay, I blame women. Girls, why are you banging those dudes? Okay, <laughs> all right. How dare you? And look what he did to himself. He's gonna have no regard for what he's about to do to you. Do you understand? That's a guy that's gonna put it right in your butt. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Everybody knows you can't go right in the butt. I mean, that's like hitting a, I mean, laying down a butt and running to third. You can't do it, man. Oh, my God. They stink. They're just dirty white people. Oh, God. They gross me out. And they're all making my coffee. That's why I'm not drinking coffee today. I'm so tired. I was at Starbucks, and I get the gayest drink they make. It's so good. I don't care. It's got an extra gay in it. I love gay. Mm, so good. It's it's a triple venti white mocha non-fat no whip started with extra gay sprinkle right on top. It's amazing. I highly recommend it. And and this dirty white guy was making my coffee, right? All right, and and I had a panic attack. Okay, I flipped out, okay, because he's stirring my coffee, right? And he's talking to somebody else, and he's he's one of these dirty white guys with dreadlocks, okay? All right, how come black people with dreadlocks always smell lovely and effervescent, but, right, <laughs> right? But white people always smell like patchouli oil on the ass, okay? Why is that, okay? If you notice that, it's so gross, all right? And so he's talking to me, right, and he's stirring, all right, and one of his dreadlocks is hanging over my coffee like the sword of Damocles. It's about to dunk into my coffee, and I flip out, okay? I'm like, ah! You stinky, dirty, white son of a bitch, get away from my coffee, you rat bastard! And, and I'm yelling at him, and that's when they called the police, and the police got there really fast, man, I mean, around here. And they're like, and I'm like, you dirty sons of bitch! I paid $8 for that cup of coffee and my piece of lemon loaf. Just give me my goddamn lemon loaf and my clean cup of coffee, you sons of bitch. Tap, tap. Oh, hello, officer. How are you? How are you? Yeah, I'm in handcuffs three minutes later. That's a fat guy wake up call when you're in two pairs of handcuffs. All right, because you're so goddamn fat. One pair won't fit, okay? One pair of handcuffs, too small. <laughs> You're fat, okay, all right, <laughs> and you shouldn't be causing trouble, all right, I was sitting down, all right, and this, oh, God, this it was a white guy and a black cop, okay, and the black cops with me, and the white guy's taking the statement from the manager, how this fat guy just went crazy, right, and the black guy recognizes me, he goes, Ralphie May, I'm like, hey, B, how are you, and by the way, thank God you got these handcuffs on me, I was about to dash away. <laughs> and he goes, why are you in here causing craziness? And I'm like, well, all right, you want to know the truth? He goes, yeah, all right, see that stinky, dirty white guy with his dreadlock right there? He about dunked his goddamn dreadlock into my coffee. And the black guy, without missing me, goes, oh, shit. That's nasty. Oh, man, that's nasty. All right, so they wrote them up for a uh, violent health violation, but I got rid of trespass, so I can't go back to that Starbucks no more.